I'm really excited to be sharing this with you. About five years ago, Anna Kazan released an effect called the Cyclock. These were made in very small batches of 100, and within days of receiving a batch, we sold out. Um, since that time, it's actually been off the market for about two years, two or three years, and I've been working on an up Updated version. Now the general routine with a cyclock is at the beginning of your effect or the beginning of your act you would show a clock, um, remove the batteries and then set the time to a predicted time without your spectator knowing what the time is. You would place that in an envelope, you would place it on an easel up there on stage. Someone in the audience will be given a bell and any time during your act they could ring that bell. You now note the time they rung the bell, write it on the envelope. The envelope is then handed to your spectator and they hold it for the duration of your show. At the end of your show, as your final encore, you get them to open up the envelope and the time you set on the clock matches the time they stopped you in the act. And remember, there are no batteries in the clock, so the clock is not working. The, the time you set is the time they stopped you. Now, for me, there was drawbacks to this. Not many drawbacks, it was a great effect, but the fact was the clock had to be on stage with you all the time until your spectator rung that bell. Once they rung the bell, they could take the envelope off. Now, I always wanted to achieve this effect by handing the spectator at the beginning of my show either an envelope or a box. They don't know what's inside it, any time during my show they could ring the bell or blow the whistle. They write the time on the box or the envelope and at the end of the show, I've gone nowhere near this thing, at the end of the show, inside the box or envelope, they find a clock minus its batteries set to the exact time they decided to stop me. Now, after all uh, the time we've spent messing about with this and trying different prototypes, we basically uh, investigated different ways and different transmission devices, whether it be from a phone, from a smartwatch, all these uh, different ways of getting it done. The best way we found was this, the good old compact remote control. This is the Cyclop 2, we're calling it Tempus, and uh, this is what happens. Basically, when you hand your spectator the box, the clock, as you can see, will be running. Okay, so this will be keeping the exact time it is now, whatever the time is. As soon as your spectator blows the whistle, you check your watch and you say it's 8.20, write that on the box, and you just push the button, and as you see, the clock stops. Now, please don't think that this is restricted to just stage performers. This works well in a parlor show, even if you're a working close-up magician. There's nothing better than performing a trick for everyone before you start and having a finale for everyone before you leave. That way, you notify them of your presence and you notify them of your leaving, which gets you a big round of applause and everyone gets to see something. This works perfectly in, uh, let's say, a corporate event, let's say a wedding. If you're doing a wedding, you can hand the box to the bride and groom, make a statement beforehand and say, I'm gonna hand this over any time Julie or Karen, whatever the bride's name is, is gonna blow this whistle, ring this bell, um, and then we'll take it from there. So you hand this to the, to the bride. While she's enjoying herself, you're out uh, performing at the tables, she blows the whistle, Everything now stops, everyone's going to wonder what she's doing. You ask her to make a note at the time on the box. Now before you leave, you go back up for the big reveal. And believe you me, it works brilliantly. As a finale, it works brilliantly and it gets you the big round of applause from everyone there. And bearing in mind, like I said, if you haven't seen this before, there is no battery in it yet. Um, just by pushing the button, you can get the clock rolling push it again, get it to stop. Okay, um, so that is Cyclop 2 Tempest.